bracket form creates a concrete edge on the bond beam without the presence of tile. The bond beam must be level with a square corner. Remove protrusions, debris, or other loose particulate for bracket form to fit best on the bond beam. Use a transit to make level marks around the concrete wall 5 and a quarter inches below the highest bond beam point. Snap a chalk line for flexibility in bracket placement. Holding the form against the bond beam, push the spear through the tongue of the form having the end protruding outside the form at the line. With the spear properly positioned, place the middle hole of the plastic bracket over the protruding spear, followed by sliding the self-locking button onto the spear, clicking once. Drive a concrete nail through the hole in the end of the leveled bracket, anchoring the bracket to the concrete. Use a sharp knife to cut forms for 45 and 90 degree angle mitered corners. Do not use a handsaw. On both sides of any break, use a spear directly adjacent to the end of the form band. Place as close to the break as spacing will allow. Holding the eyelid end of the spear, pull the spear to set the form firmly against the bond beam, secure by driving a concrete nail through the hole in the end of the spear. With the spear nailed in place, push the button firmly against the outside of the bracket to snugly ratchet the form band against the bond beam. Adjust the bottom edge of the bracket to the level line from the transit while keeping it vertical. Place spears approximately every 14 inches along the bond beam. Install optional nose, flare, or French caps to line up with the control joints at this time. When the concrete has solidified to the point where the form can be removed, rotate the button severing the spear behind the surface of the concrete. Remove detached spear and button from bracket, allowing the bracket to rotate, hanging down. Remove lower nails to retrieve the reusable bracket. For more detailed instructions and product availability, visit bracketform.com.